Kesi TV lawan rasipi daka Frank Yamaha the Maxi Sports Scooter Aerox 155 ringkat baka net foodish order mapi ngin wan ramani hakir dob yeng jompi uba em karkrang uba lapan tiket naka Bharatiya Janata Party maya kunya collection naka not shalong constituency Syak yang dorbar tau an gejala kawan selong house nam arja apulai ulang bau smoke ya hadu kata kata ya kejingbun kisamla kibadan apa yang kejingbam yau kam yau jam hak aje yang kena bikin lah petai kebuar ubah kar kerang ulang maka notch long constituency kawan kamru ya kekot kekia kapa bah nama kerde ke constituency kawalah he bat nalar kata kawan kamru ke shong suk shong sen nama raba kawan kinu kinu kejingja hak jala Kiju jahabat hak ini ke konstituensi kebadan artili kat kayi hak jalan megalaya. Immediately after I left service on the 1st September and then I joined the BGP on the 3rd September. After that, we have started and there has been a very good response from the public. Especially, I'm quite happy with the kind of response we got from the the other side, from the tribal side, and that is evident when you look at the kind of the 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 turnout when we call for meetings and all, and uh, but a lot of hard work we still have to do, and uh, with all our uh, hard work, uh, I mean like the BGP workers who are so hard working and with all the sincerity that they devoted to this, I'm very sure that we'll come out uh, successfully. Uh, yes, and uh, there are uh, there are advantages, there are disadvantages also to this. And uh, from the BGP point of view, I feel that the more candidates we have, the better for the party. As mentioned earlier, I'll reiterate again. There are four issues. One is uh, education. The second thing is healthcare. The third is employment. And the fourth is safety and security. And coming from a police background, I think so this will help me a lot. My background will help me a lot in ensuring that. Uh, Shillong as a whole and not Shillong in particular is safe and secure. Uh, one thing I'll tell you, uh, not Shillong houses the biggest commercial area in the state of Megalia. Any problem anywhere, any part of the state, not Shillong always gets affected. And uh, I don't know for certain reasons or is it because it's a, one of the biggest commercial area every time it gets targeted. And uh, then the second thing is that uh, you might have seen a lot of big houses in Shillong, a lot of uh, architectural designs and all. But this, now when I have actually entered, I have visited the thousands of houses, no, we are still lacking in many fronts. And one of the most important things that we are lacking is that the youths of North Shillong are not getting employed. And when I say employment, I mean to say gainful employment. Now if... Uh, graduate in engineering, he gets a job which is paying him five to six thousand, then I feel that that's not employment. That's not gainful employment. That is actually exploitation. But uh, uh, unfortunately for our young boys and girls, they have no other option. And they have to go for this job, paying them five, six thousand. So you see the thing is, uh, uh, now how will the, how will, what what is the future for our young boys and girls? Now if this is the thing, and what is the kind of message are we sending to all those young children who are still getting themselves educated. You know, what, what is the kind of message? Now, if they see their elder siblings and all, who have actually dedicated their life for getting a good education and all, and they have seen them that it reaches nowhere. And these, uh, the elder siblings and all are looking for a job and there's no, uh, you know, they're, they're, there's, uh, they, they don't have any future. Now, what is the kind of message are we sending to these young children? So the most important and the biggest problem that we are facing in North Shillong, I should say, is employment of the young boys and girls, which will be one of my most, my, my, my major, major uh, trust that I'm going to put in if I get elected. Ngambu kata ben ang unu bakan yung bertalat. Haga hajing sngo kujunga unu unu bala dehi kertong laso tuo ika kapasiti galijong. But kap begidan begidan dreamwood yung it kada diet makanaru. Ngan hap take them seriously, but ngan hap yuk kumangale yakiwikwe ngan hap kenyiki bar kaya kilang mungjo, and they are my 
kini kini nong yelak percaya ngah, bukan kan apa ikut ni kini on the same platform. I I would I would I I don't think so. They declared a few days before the elections. Definitely, I remember they used to declare at least two months before elections. And two months before elections is good enough time. It's a good enough time yeah, for real canvassing, yeah? because that is the time when the, the real canvassing really starts. So two months is good enough. And uh, uh, president has already stated that uh, uh, by the first week of December, a lot of things will become clear. So probably by that time, then they will be they start asking for the for the you know the uh, proposals or the can you know candidates. So two months is good enough. I don't feel it'll have, it'll have much impact on the party, and I do hope, I do hope that whoever is eyeing for BGP ticket, he remains loyal to the party, irrespective of whether he gets a party ticket or not. We have seen that in the Sam, where a lot of seats, three, four, aspiring candidates were there, and uh, only one got, and the other three they remain with the party and they are working with the party, so that that becomes very important. So and that is where you can really actually judge the loyalty of the person. Till the time I actually joined a party, in fact, I have not made my decision. Uh, a lot of parties had offered me. I'm telling you, it's not only Congress. Some other parties had also offered me ticket, and BGP was one also. So the one of the parties also which had, uh, when I was in service, they had uh, approached me and uh, requested me to join the party. Uh, but the thing is, uh, ultimately, you know, I've I've been I have to weigh the pros and the cons and and uh, I've uh, before I actually decided to to, to <coughs> go with the PGP I did a lot of studies on how all the various political parties were performing their respective states and I've seen one thing any state that the BGP had ruled they have been performing exceedingly well and like I said why I joined politics is because I want to see my beloved state of Meghalaya prosper and develop and for this, for me to see that these things are achieved, I'm, I'm very confident it's only the BGP party that can ensure that we are able to see a developing and a vibrant Meghali. Regarding Bernard's case, uh, one thing I'd like to say is that uh, it's a sub judicial court, you know, so the things I really do not want to make any comments. Uh, it's for the courts to decide. But uh, strangely, looking at the various press reports that you all have brought out, it appears that uh, uh, multiple cases have been brought up against him. Uh, it appears, I'm not saying whether it's right or wrong, but it appears as if there have been effort to ensure that he remains incarcerated inside the jail. Uh, but uh, for the, uh, and the liberty that has been given to him is, uh, he got it from the Honorable High Court. And, uh, and the thing is, uh, it, it appears, because a lot of old cases have been again uh, brought back, which could have been done a long time back, but suddenly now, just before election, so a lot of questions uh, remain to be answered. If, if you remember, when we first, uh, when I was SP of East Castle, we had started on a project called the Safe Secure Shalom Project. Okay. And uh, uh, one, one of the ingredients of that project was installing of CCTV in all the major junctions in Shalom. Uh, what I got to know now is that all those uh, CCTVs now have malfunction. Now for a city like Shillong now, if you don't have CCT coverage, then where do we have it? Okay, that's one thing. Uh, second thing is that uh, uh, second thing is that uh, uh, any incident which has happened, uh, Shillong is a growing city. Crime will be committed. I'll not say it will be free from crime. Yes, crimes will be committed. But the thing is, our uh, police should be able to de detect the crime and that's the only deterrent that we can have against the criminals you know detection of crime is the most important and also conviction also uh, police department we already have the diet rate of prosecution which I guess it is not functioning see the thing is now these these cells are there but if they're not functioning then where do we go so I feel that these are few steps and uh, also, uh, in, when, when, when I started the Safe Secure Shillong project, one thing that we had done that time was to reach out to the public. Reaching out to the public and uh, encouraging the public to come forward, to work together with the police, provide police with information and all. Now, if, 
if the public are not the ears and the eyes of the police, then who will be the ears and eyes of the police? So, and that will not come out of the blue. That has to be created. That has to be, you know, effort has to be made by the police department in that respect. And uh, that can only come about if police is able to bridge the gap between the police and the public. Thank you.